Hello everybody, this is Caroline Alizan, an associate and a graduate student of the Grog Trade Mentoring Program. Welcome back traders, hope you all had a wonderful holiday and a great weekend and we're all back in the game. Just like me, I'm always ready to play, the, it's just a very exciting game to play. But anyways, it is Monday, November 29th of 2010 and we're looking at the Q's daily chart and look what happened here today. We are dropping big in the morning, bouncing off of a really major area of support right here at the 5208 mark and we are heading back up, finishing higher, but what else we do see here? We are hitting another major point on our chart, another key level of resistance right here, which we couldn't break through and continue to the upside and which was at the 52.97 mark, which is actually a point of two major areas of resistance crossing. This upper area of resistance right here, the 52.97 and this thick yellow trend line, which is going which is going down, which is indicating that we're still in a downtrend. So if we continue to the downside with the MACD confirmation, then we could head all the way down to that lower area of support right here that you see on this chart. This is the thicker yellow trend line down at the bottom, which is acting as a pretty major area of support. We could head all the way down to that level and then bounce back again and continue up to the upper area of resistance right here. If we extend this resistance area to the right, there you go, you see this uh, trend line right here coming down. So we could head all the way down, and then once we hit that area of support, we could bounce back up, continue to the upside until this area of resistance and then continue to the downside. So that's one scenario that we could we could have happening on our pretty chart. But the other one would be that we could head higher, breaking through that upper area of resistance, this thick, thick p yellow trend line that you see here on this chart, we can break through it and continue to the upside to the upper area of resistance right here, the 5345 mark. But before you make any place, just always look for a confirmation. If you see the cues going up, breaking through a major area of resistance, but the MACD is still pointing lower with another negative tick, wait a minute, something is going on. You don't play that game. Just wait for a confirmation. I would just rather pass on that play than just jump in and lose my money. So be always careful making your decisions. So that would be another scenario. So watch these areas of support and resistance that I mentioned here to you and always look for confirmation with the MACD. So have a wonderful day and play smart.